keeping riders safe and cutting down on noise. That's part of the goal of a new law for mopeds that it's going to go into effect this weekend. Beginning Sunday, moped owners will now have to register the vehicles each year, like car owners with the state. Plus, they'll have to pass an annual safety check. Elisa Revelo getting answers about what else the law requires. Elisa. Howard, all moped riders have until the end of 2017 to make this transition to the annual registration. I spoke with an inspection station here in town, and I'm told they're expecting a big increase in customers throughout the year. Moped owners will now have to pay up to the state to legally ride. Starting in 2017, all moped owners must pay a registration fee, license plate fee, and an emblem fee, adding up to $33.25. The license plate and emblem must be on the back of the moped. The mopeds can't be louder than 100 decibels, and the vehicles cannot be modified much more than the stock condition. There's lots of mopeds that have been modified on the island of Oahu, and they need to pass a pretty strict safety check inspection now to get them registered and legal. According to the new law, a moped can be seized and possibly even auctioned off if it has the safety inspection but is then illegally modified. We uh, intend to inform all moped uh, buyers and customers who are coming into our store the changes that's going to be happening. We visited some retailers who tell us they're preparing for the new law. We are actually in the process of trying to get our own safety inspection station. There's a special noise decimal gauge that we had to buy. With the influx of mopeds, we might have to start doing appointments. I'm not sure. However, I'm told many places are opting out of doing safety checks for mopeds because of the equipment cost. If you're caught without the registration and safety check, you could get a fine of $100. Anyone caught with fraudulent tags could face an even bigger fine of $500. The state has a list of all moped safety inspection stations online. You can check that out at khon2.com for a link. Elisa Arevalo, KHON2 News.